Hello everybody and welcome back to Blacksmith of the Sand Kingdom with me Dark Mazda for Dark Mazda Series Gaming. In the last episode we headed into the ruins and we thwarted the intruders that were there. And the intruder was no other than General Balthazar and his accomplice Aura. Um, they were trying to perform some sort of ritual on the stone tablet which they managed to do and now the writing is glowing blue um, in the ruins. Um, since then the my mysterious Mr. Beard revealed himself to be the king of Albine. Is it Albine or Muscle Fame or whatever it's called? And um, he has dealt with Balthazar or so he says. So let's get going, let's see what happens in the next part of the story. So, what are we doing now then? Did we finish our fights in the arena? We did. So, what is left to do is to go to the dungeons and we've got the new Ancient Ruins Depths to head through. So, let's go to this and see what's happening here. This area feels different compared to the rest of the ruins. The air feels somewhat heavy. There seems to be lots of dangerous monsters around too. I'll need to be extremely careful. Right, so this is what we are doing. Well, let's fight our first monster and see what they're like. Medusas and news. We could get that. We'll try our standard fire on them. Oh, we seem to don't have any... Right, that's fine. Uh, we will do a volcano on these. So they're weak to ice. Oh, so this is where we get the Raiju hide. So we can now start making some of the newer armor pieces once we find the Philosopher's Stones, of course. These skeletons are annoying. Especially when they keep doing stuff like that. We'll have to check our passive abilities when we go back to the town. They're a little bit self-conscious that we may not be strong enough for what is to come. Oh, my God. 
Right, so we have got Fire Dragon scales as well. Oh, we've got Oracalcum. It'll save us making it, if we can get enough of it.
How much of a pay take is that?
defense tome should go really to the one with the least magic attack definitely defense. Who keeps getting hit by the magic? Um, evasion.
Let's continue on. Let's have a look at our requests. Some eggs, Snake King. I haven't found the Snake King yet. Should be as far as I need to go. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. But there is There's something the matter here. What's this? Some kind of stone casket? So this is what Balthazar was trying to do a ritual for, I guess. Let's return to town. Well, what is it? You've become one fine adventurer, lad. What's with you all of a sudden? This isn't like you at all, miss, master. <laughs> Sorry, I was just reminiscing of the past, of when you first came to me that day. Uh, I guess I've come a long way since then, haven't I? Right, uh, what was it again? Oh yeah, Maz, the eternal newbie. Gah, I thought you'd forgotten about that. <laughs> it's just a shock how that useless rookie turned into the best adventurer the guild's ever seen. It's all thanks to you, Master. You're not just a guild member to me. I don't have a family of my own, but I think of you as like a son. I know I can never replace Ulrich, but I'll always be here to support you. Thank you, Master. Let's hand this in. So nothing out the ordinary. Legendary frying pans what we need. Let's go and make some of them things now then.
We haven't got a diamond yet. What was the other things we needed to make? Fire Dragon, Crossbow, Spiral Longhorn, that's what we need. Uh, what was the other thing that we needed? Was it another whip? Whoops. No, it wasn't. I'm guessing it was one of these sorts, Bodachi. Cemetery Mud. We've got five. Let's see if we can get some cemetery mud. See if we can get some of those as well. There we go. Try 20. Should be enough. Come and enchant leather strips. Fire Dragon Crossbow. So we need some Philosopher's Stones for those. I haven't got any Philosopher's Stones yet. I wonder if he will teach us how to make them. Looks like he's going to. I never thought I'd see you humming. You must be in a good mood. A good mood? Well, maybe I'm a little perky than usual. No customers came to the shop today, you see. Oh, sorry. Nah, it's fine. I just finished training anyway. Training? I made a Philosopher's Stone and was playing with it. I remembered about it when I taught you about Oricalcum. A Philosopher's Stone? I've heard of those. They're really difficult to make, and all alchemists aspire to make them. Well, I guess some people find them difficult, but they're pretty easy to make with the right ratios of materials and the right methods, and the slightest why people find it so hard. I really think there's something special about you, Horik. You do? Well, if it was flattery, it worked. I'll teach you. Blacksmith should be able to make them too. You can decide for yourself how hard it is. Right. A material amalgam. We're going to now make the material Philosopher's Stone. Well, let's put that to good use. So we need amalgam as well. Right. So, where do we get amalgam? 
guess we'll be making a lot of these. finish that request. Get them delivered to Hannah at the arena. Legendary frying pan. Carmella's sorted dragon foie gras, supreme succulent meaty goodness. I'd eat it even if it cost me my life. <laughs> so there we go. So we can now make some of these other So we could make one of those for definite. Feather. We can make that. What? 
Let's display some of these items. Right, let's open up the shop and see what happens here. Four thousand one hundred and fifteen satisfaction. They say Balthazar was stripped of his title as general and expelled from the army. Yeah, I heard. It's fair enough to step down as general after such a failure, but isn't expulsion too far? Nah, not just that. Turns out he was doing some bad stuff behind the scenes too. Bad enough to warrant expulsion. I wonder what he did. But now with the warmonger Balthazar gone, the higher-ups are calling for a truce. They're working out a peace treaty with Albion. That's great news. Then the war will be over. Let's head to the tavern. Oh, the males will be even better now. Look at that. Sigh. Something the matter? Yeah, now we sell more items here. More and more adventurers are coming along to buy stuff. And why did you request us to help you make new stuff? I accepted a lot of them. Well, it's just so annoying when customers come along asking why we don't sell certain things. That's why I tried to get more items in stock. Besides, creating the new items itself was quite fun. I guess I just got carried away. Before I knew it, we had more items and more customers. But as long as I keep items in stock, they keep coming. It's a vicious cycle. Sounds more like a good cycle to me. Great for business. Well, I do complain, but I've been weird lately. 
doesn't annoy me anymore when customers say that my items are high quality or that I have items that other places don't. Well, that's great. I understand that feeling from running my shop. I wouldn't say it gives me purpose, but I think I see now what it means to work. I guess that th that's thanks to you. Don't mention it. Hey you, those Adachi and Fire Dragon crossbows, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw them. I don't even know what to say. I was shocked. Oh, I'm sorry. My last few requests went so well, did I screw up on this one? Just wait there a moment. I need to finish writing this quickly. What, what are you writing? Do you really need to ask? My letter of resignation. I'm leaving this reception and coming to work with you, effective immediately. But, but, don't you need my permission to come and work with me? But I've never seen anything like the masterpieces you make. It's the work of a court blacksmith. I appreciate the kind words, but that doesn't... Please, I'll do anything. I want to see you work first hand. I'm sorry, but no means no. I hope you understand. Oh. Right, well, we've definitely got everything there. Um... Rainbow feather. No. Let's see what else we've got. <laughs> I guess we're just working towards the satisfaction rating now then. Oh, let us um, equip some of our new items. I know we've got just changed them over, but uh, where's it at? Storm blade. on everything again. Bye. 
collected that one. Let's just save there just to make things right. Okay, so now we need to modify all of this armour now. Um, should we put the attack up, I think? up as well. on that one. Um, yeah, we'll go for MP Absorb. Definitely Magic Attack. Get 
guess it's defense and magic defense. Oh, we need some more defense orbs. <laughs> See if we can find some. Yeah, we're just going for defense and magic defense with most of these people. Just make them a little bit more resilient. Right, and that's all them sorted. Right, let's open up the shop, sell some more items to get the 
satisfaction rate up. Oven for the meals. Can't do Platinum League One yet. So to the workshop again. Display some of the items. there though. Right, let's open up the shop again. Let's see if that makes any difference. And that's what we need from the next sale item. But we will go to the tavern first just to, to get our level up. Let's get these going again and hopefully that'll level up the shop. I think we've done it. And there we have it. Rank up. Lovely. So that'll be ready for the next episode.
Hmm. You don't seem too pleased, Master Aegon. What's wrong? Take it you've heard about Balthazar's discharge. Only the rumours. They say that even his family disowned him for tainting the family name. But now, the guilds receive reports of him being spotted with some dubious characters. Dubious characters? Ruffians who will commit any crime. Fraud, theft, assault, murder, you name it. They're strongly against the peace treaty with Albine. I do hope they don't compromise its success. That is worrying, especially as they likely have nothing to lose. He also seems to have links to another troubling group. There's more. Remember the black robe guys you fought in the ruins? All we know is they are underworld occultists. Underworld occultists? I've never heard of anything like that before. Me neither, but that's all we've been able to find out. They're likely some secret religious group. Oh dear, oh dear. So what do they want us to do now then? Okay, so that is going to be it for this episode of Blacksmith of the Sun Kingdom. We've got our shop rank to rank 10. Um, it doesn't seem like it'll go any higher. Let's just double check these records here. Because, oh, H shop rank, HP tone 2, and maximum satisfaction. Look at that. Wow. Anymore? Boss defeats. So there must be another two bosses then. Hmm. We'll see how that pans out. We're going to save it. Okay, next time we are going to be heading into the dungeon. Um, we're going to check the ancient ruins again. And. Hopefully, we can defeat Balthazar. Um, I'm guessing he's going to be the last remaining boss to take care of in the story mode. Um, give me a like and a sub if you enjoyed the content. And until next time, that's it from me. And I will see you guys on the flip side.